Hi, great to be here this week. This week, my word is ancestors. Rick and I just finished watching 1883, the prequel to Yellowstone. Both are excellent and highly recommended. 1883 is a story of settlers on a wagon train along the Oregon Trail. I know it's just a TV show, but it really, um, it really is amazing to look at life on the prairie. And I, I think about how it took tough, determined people to settle this beautiful country. They had to think. They had to be thinking, planning, live without, live outdoors, forage for their food, know how to use a gun, and be prepared to use that gun. The show made me think of my ancestors. Rick and I, are, we're both second-generation Americans. Rick's grandparents came from Russia, Germany, and England. And my grandparents came from Ireland and Italy. And I, this is cool. I got a glimpse of my ancestors when we visited the town that they were born in in Italy. This is my mom's mom. My great-great grandfather was a tailor and my great great grandmother was a seamstress it was just great to go walk the streets where they lived before they came to the United States and so an action item is let's take some time to think about our challenges and our ans that our ancestors experienced our lives today are so much easier and they're so much better because of of what they went through and so my word for the week is ancestor the a is for accolade Recognition of accomplishment. Our lives are due to their struggles and challenges. Our obligation is to leave a bright path for the next generation. N is for navigate. Each day, each year, decade is new and different. Let's be nimble and navigate a path of health and success. C is for calling. We all find our way. What is important to us and brings us joy and fulfillment it is often a windy path, but we eventually get there. E is for empathy, understanding, compassion, and care. For those who went before us and blazed this trail of our life, let's show empathy for them and for others. It helps make the world a better place. S is for scenic. Boy, do we live in a beautiful country. Let's go out and explore. T is for time. It's all relative. Will something that is bothering us today be important five years from now? Probably not. How about we let it go? O is for onward, toward a position that is ahead in space and time. You know what? That's all we can do is move forward. There is no going back. Let's make this moment count. And R is for rapport. Do you think if we put yourself in a room with all of our ancestors, would there be rapport? Do blood relations make us more connected. It could be fun to find out. I love these moments of perspective, and I hope you do too. Have a great week. That was Gene Edelman here on The Truth About Your Future, and if you want to get more of Gene's Words of the Week, just go to thetruthayf.com.